Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another special episode of Mommy Guide Inc. Today, we're going to be having J.A. Smith or J. Smith again for the third time here on Mommy Guide Inc. I know that we have learned so much about notions from J. Okay, in the past. So if you have missed those episodes, please, I will put them in the description down below and please do watch it because this is a pretty advanced class a little bit a little bit okay but of course as we know jeffrey always goes back to a little bit of the basics every time that we go live with him okay it has been an honor for us to collaborate with jay smith every two months he has agreed to be with us here on mommy guiding to teach us more about not just notions in the future but about productivity Okay, apps and different things that we can actually use to make our lives and our streaming and our work even more um, productive and uh, more um, more workable, so to speak, right? Is that such a word? Anyway, so um, tonight we have with us, of course, Jay Smith, who is now a Notion Essentialist. What is that? All right, so we will get to know more of this, okay, as we talk with jay in a little bit so again thank you so much for joining us tonight and without further ado let's bring in jay smith hi jeffrey how you doing lala i always forget <laughs> i have to get up early here and i always forget it's evening so every time i go in the chat i'm always like good morning everybody I'm like, oh, it's, everybody's like oh good good evening yes so, it's actually pretty know. early okay jay is uh is on the CST time zone, so he's actually yeah. 13 hours uh, behind. So he's behind. actually oh, just oh. 7 a.m. Oh, no, now it's 8 a.m. for him. But he woke up I pretty am. early so that we could, you know, first check about our setup at the back before we actually go live. So again, Jay, how have yeah. you been? How have you been? I'm doing great. I'm always 13 hours behind, by the way, so that's not <laughs> unusual in my uh -huh. life. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? I, I'm doing great. It's been, uh, the summer is already here, but it feels like it's going fast. So I'm just trying to, uh, like everybody else, I'm just trying to catch up. 
we yes. get things done. So it's been, it's been two busy, months since busy. we last saw you, right? And I know that you've been yeah. super pretty been... busy. So, okay, so maybe just, a, a, you know, a heads up. What is a notion essentialist? Because the last time you were here, we didn't know what that was, right? So maybe you can tell us something no, a little I, bit about I, that one. A lot of people didn't because they actually changed it. Um, I so I there are certain levels of of notion certification, and the first one you, you go out there and you kind of get this kind of notion certified is what they called it. But then it was confusing because then you can go on to become a a notion certified consultant. So then they changed the uh, the, the they call it a badge, but uh, it's called Notion Essentials, and you get a Notion Essentials badge, and it's it's uh, encrypted, so people can't just steal your, you know, it can be checked and verified. And so I was glad that they did that, actually. Um, so I was I was happy. I went through the exam, and that was a little bit harder than I thought, <laughs> um, but I, I got through it. And um, actually, it was you who kind of prodded me a little bit to do it, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to do that. And so now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on my Notion Consulting uh, certification, which is quite involved. And it'll take a few months. Hopefully, by the end of the summer, I'll, I'll have that done. Uh, in the meantime, I'm working on the things like uh, I've, I just took a big five-week course with um, – it's a cohort course with Tiago Forte, who uh, is the inventor of second – you know, building a second brain. Wow. And I'm really into that. So my – my uh, channel is, is shifting, which is why I haven't really put up any videos or done lives. I've been really, really working on trying to get my tool sets together and my, my life together on how I want to work in the area of, of building a second brain, which goes beyond just tools because it is tool agnostic. It's really more about there's some mental game there. There is your flow. There's your systems and, and whatever tools you decide, which I'm a huge Notion fan, but I'm also working with Rome Research. Um, so um i'm really enjoying that so wow. i'm hoping to get so some videos many, out on that too. yes so many amazing awesome things happening jay it's like in just two months uh, right thanks. so we're yeah. looking so uh, forward to all these changes on jay smith's channel so let's watch and wait for that of course we will be uh, announcing that when actually you up mm -hmm. or you have you know made the changes already jay so you are also yeah. into a building a second brain. I hope that you could also share that with us in the community. When, uh, I would you know. love that. I, I, I thought about your community when, mm -hmm. when I went through that course, which was very, very involved. It was a, it's a beautiful community. You're going to hear a lot more about this uh, in the coming years as this builds. It's, it's really centered around the, the personal knowledge management issues. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine your community feels this way. We are so busy. And what's happened with the internet and information is we are becoming overwhelmed by information. We are being exhausted with information. But as people who do YouTube or projects, we love to find new things, but the problem is we find things and we capture a million things, mm -hmm. but it's how do we locate them and not feel exhausted by all the possibilities and, and, and find ways to make things simpler so we can actually output. Um, wow, and that's Jeff. a very, that's exactly. a very, very watered down view of this, it, but I wanted to, yeah. Yes, this is super exciting. I hope that you can come up with this content's pretty soon. <laughs> I, I think it. we absolutely yeah. need this kinds of you know um, discussions. On well, this the topic. beautiful. Yeah, and the beautiful thing is Notion is a, a, one of the main tools that people often use to build their second brain. I'm using it in conjunction with what's called Rome Research, which is uh, really for writers and researchers. I want to use that for building uh, scripts for blogs and videos, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a book down the road. So, but Notion is a beautiful tool to use to get your, your second brain in order. And all that means is we, we are not made to store information technically. And so when you're juggling all that information up in your brain, uh, it, it tends to uh, paralyze the output. We don't really have our output mode. We can't be creative juggling all these plates in our lives. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it's about building a system that you can trust to know that uh, your information is being captured and stored in ways that you can find it, not siloed and disappearing. All uh, right. A bunch of so from that on that note, okay, when you talk about system, yeah. okay, so yeah. Jay, you would I could not even put into words how grateful we are for you know you coming on board and um, telling mm -hmm. us all about notions. Um, from you know when you started with uh, us uh, telling us about notions, I've actually um, navigated towards using that in you know um, 
in my live streaming in terms of bringing in guests, bringing in information towards my guests, mm. making all the plans via Notion and then integrating it with Calendly. And there are even organizations yeah. within our community like Craft Create and Swap Club Admin. Absolutely 100% Notion right now. Again, because so, of you, Jay. All right, so guys, if you want to actually know more about what we're talking about, you know, feel free to contact Jay Smith. I'll put all his links down below after this one because um, he actually is uh, a consultant for you know Notion. So if you want, to well, I'm not a consultant. Know, I, I want to be careful. Not here. I'm not a, a full not consultant yet. yet. Okay. Um, I'm working Notion towards that, but uh, essential. Yeah. This? That, I'm, I'm I'm essentially certified, which is right. a, a, a nice level to be at. And what is nice is once you do, and the reason I'm careful with that is because I uh -huh. don't have that certification. Yeah, but when you are certified, they put you on their official consultant list, which is really nice, and they put mm -hmm. you that that's kind of nice for um, people. Right. But so I, I'm happy. I, I'm <laughs> I'm so honored to be uh, you know. A, a, a consultant on here uh, for your your lovely community for Notion. So anything that I can do, and I have come up with a, a lot of ideas to take us down some roads as we move forward, and I'm excited for that exactly. as we go. Because too. there are other um, communities in our, you know, uh, smaller communities within our bigger community who has asked me if they could invite you over for like the awesome. Zooms sure. for their communities, yeah. right? So I said, okay, yeah, we will to. ask that the next time we have Jay, all right? And probably, you know, some organizations who also want to, you know, make their systems even better. All right, so I know that you guys are very yeah. interested in knowing what is new for Notion for us, okay? But again, let's just choose some of the comments here in the chat. There's so yeah. many right now, basically just saying good evening, good morning, hi to you and good me, evening. and to everybody in the chat. As you know, that is how it is, right? Even in Jay's <laughs> community and uh, John Ryan's, it's like that. So hello, hello, fine art of distraction. He is um, from the fluid artist community from Australia. Okay, I hi the, there. I love Nathan. the fine art of distraction. is wonderful. Exactly. I love that title. Aim Rose Barago. Hello, po. Okay, so there's everybody. And of course, Tina One Kenobi. Hey, hi, Tina. sister. Oh, of course. She is. She drove me here like, uh, you know, <laughs> Michael Schumacher trying to, you know, veer away from all the traffic just to get me back home safely and on time. Yeah. Thanks, Tina. And hi, Nathan. Hello, Aim Rose. And this Jay saying hi to everybody. All right. And then we have Whimsical Thoughts. Hi, Miss Whims. Yeah. Good evening, Batchmate. Jay Smith and Tina. Uh -huh. Yes, Marie is actually the creator Hi, of, founder of ja uh, Craft Create and Swap Club, who is now 100% Notion for their team. Oh, sweet. All exactly. right. Exactly. All right. So, Miss KM, hello, hello. Miss Gladys. Ayan. Guys, I'm just skipping everything that is about hi, hello <laughs> for now so that we can actually start. But I yeah. super appreciate you guys for being here and for being in the chat. Please feel free to just say hi and hello to everybody. Ayan. Maria Angelica Ganyo, maraming maraming salamat po for being here and saying hi to everybody. Didn't know that Notion had consultants. That's so cool. Yes, it's a, it's a, they're, they're beginning to make it... Um, like certifications, giving out certifications. Yeah. Yes, but there's yeah. a process, guys. And as Jay said, it's not as easy as he thought it would be, right? <laughs> yeah. So it takes some work. Bit, yeah. Yes, it's uh, it, there's work. All right. And Norman's diary, mega love shout out. Hi, Norman. Doc Ree, hello, 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 hello. All right. So I think, and we have Tommy. Hi, Tommy. This is from. Oh my gosh, Tommy! Here. They let him out. <laughs> Yes, you're so early. Thanks for waking up so early. All right. Second belly. Yes, it's very similar. That's where you store your other things so you can put yeah. more things in your first belly. So very good on you. You're so you're so on it. Okay. And Noi says, Notion? Okay, don't worry, Noi. We will, you know, um, not hopefully that's not going to be a question mark later on, but an exclamation point. There you go, right? I love okay. that. That's Daisy's Scrapbooky like Crafter. Hello, hello, hello. I hope that, you know, all the crafters and even the Filipino community will really benefit from our topic for tonight. And we have Master Red from Saudi Arabia. Hello, hello, guys. All right. So, um, Tina said, I am Schumacher. Yes, I am Schumacher. Just a Jedi trying to roll Ray, roll Roy her ex. <laughs> I like that. I am no Schumacher. Some okay. Star Wars nerd stuff going on. Exactly. I like it. That's why her name is Tina One Kenobi. She is really. Yeah, I know. Powers. I love it. It's perfect. Exactly. Star Wars, big time. Again, Jay, thank you so much. And let's start. Yeah, thank you okay, for so me. what's new for tonight, Jay? Well, okay, let's just take a. For those who have been here before and we don't want to linger too much on it, but we've, we've been kind of nibbling around this idea of a crafty planner, right? And mm -hmm. um, 
that itself can be uh, uh, augmented and, and improved on as we go. I have some ideas for that. And and so we had built up this crafty planner. Now I, I've kind of put some new things in, in mind, for example, um, I've created this this thing called uh, project seedlings, which is basically ideas. So these, these, you know, we're kind of getting seedlings together of ideas. And then these are called planted projects. And all that means is these are projects that I have um, decided to go ahead and make um, uh, I've said act on, right? So I want to put my live streams out there, have my event calendared and put it out there and actually start to work on that project. And I'm not really going to get into this today, but the point being is this is what we've been kind of working on, right? This, this mm -hmm. planner idea for our projects, for our crafty planners. And I think we even had uh, in there uh, one of the ideas. I don't remember. Let me see if I can pull that up. But one of our projects was a an ornament, I believe, an ornament project that we had worked on and I kind of did it as an example. And this is not part of the actual thing today, but I just wanted to kind of review some things that we did. So we kind of created a little bit of a, a, a project for a paper accordion ornament, how you could go about doing that. That That's an, a, a video we did a while back, right? Mm -hmm. um, so for today, I just wanted to kind of circle back and talk about a, the dashboards. And now a lot of you may have gone into this routine. I don't know if you have uh, Lala, but a lot of people like to create an overall dashboard. So I always think of Notion as sort of a, a website, a, a personal website, right? On the left, we have a menuing system in Notion and hopefully you can see it. Um, and so you, each one of our little projects that we created is a little bit like a website within Notion, which is the main website. And that's just kind of a hierarchical thing you don't have to get lost in, but I just wanted to point that out. The point being is rather than using all this left side navigation, a lot of times what we do is we like to create our own dashboard to navigate our world. Okay. So what I've done, and we've talked about this, is I've created what's called a crafty dashboard. And let's just assume this is our homepage for our whole notion uh, efforts, okay, mm -hmm. for, for this moment. And so I open up notion and I'm here for this morning and I could do, and I, look, I've just created an idea here. You can have this obviously a million different ways, your ways. I just want to go through some of the basics so you can start to play around with how to put this together. Um, and so in this, in this case, this dashboard, typical look we've got a cover and an icon and a title and I put just a little bit of a a little bit of a thing here just trust the timing it's just a little bit of a a little bit of a quote or something to get moving you could have affirmations to look at you could have a little little kind of a checklist or a planner for the day if you wanted I've got weather from Milwaukee where I'm at look at all I've got even a, a little slider people don't know you ah, put little nice. sliders uh, in there uh, don't look at that goof um, I've got what's called my hub. I'll come back to that over on the right here. I've got these quick hits, which I know is behind my face right now. Um, maybe on. you could drop Ouch. me down in the middle or so. I know it's going to be a little bit of a chase here, there uh, at times. There you go. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of a quick calendar. These are called widgets. We're going to talk about that if you don't know what those are. And we don't get a little bit of a countdown. Um, I kind of set a countdown for the stream. Obviously, I didn't set it on time because it still shows 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, no, 20 minutes ago. So it did count down correctly to our stream this morning. Yeah, exactly at 20 minutes. Uh, here's wow, a little I quote. I want that. I want that in my Yeah, it's very cool. Notion. It's very cool. Um, and then I'm going to talk about a hub and show you what that's about. Now, the hub is kind of the heartbeat of our Notion world. And we, we come to this dashboard, let's say every morning I come to my dashboard, maybe to start my day and, and figure out what I'm going to do. Um, you can see I have our crafty planner here because that's, if I'm, I'm a crafty person, that's probably the primary thing I'm, I'm going to work on. Um, I have project seedlings, maybe, a, maybe you're interested in daily journal, maybe you have recipes. So the hub becomes uh, areas of your life, right? Travel, could be travel, could be health, could be finance. It could be anything. I had in here even suppliers for crafts. So all these are are just quick ways and, and very nice visual ways to get where you want to go within your Notion universe. And sometimes it's just nicer. Now you could have all that really is is a table. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Remember, we create the table, but people forget. So often, you can create a a visual gallery view of that, and I think it's a little bit more. I don't know. It's just more personalized, and just kind of feels a little bit more inviting than just a stale table like this. Sometimes the table is nice, but I think you'd agree that the gallery look has a nicer view. So what what you could do is now I click on my crafty planner that opens up that area and now I can create I can go ahead and set uh, my live streams for my crafty planner and I'm I'm just going through the walkthrough here I'm going to backtrack and we're going to build this page in a second I just want to, you to understand why I'm doing this in case people are saying well what what's the point of a dashboard um, the dashboard is just it, it's really just to kind of center your world and give you a little bit of your canvas to your notion universe in a, a very intimate or uh, tailored way that connects to you, right? Um, it's important to connect to apps that you work in so often. They need to function and be laid out in a way that works with your flow, but also they need to kind of speak uh, to your vision and how, you, you know, something that you can be uh, connected to, I think, anyway. So... <clears throat> Let's build this dashboard. <laughs> Yay. Okay. All right, Yay. Jay, hold on. And hold on. Can I you hold wanna, on for a yep. while? All right. Good place so to start. Guys, yep. as Jay tries to build the dashboard, for those who are new to Notion and you're like, what are they doing? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. This at this point, just watch and you know enjoy. But um, mm-hmm. if you would go back to the two previous videos that we had with uh, Jeff or on Notion, okay, um, on my channel, you would better understand. But for those who have actually joined us for the past um, two streams about Notions, then this is uh, you would this one would be truly exciting for you. So guys, just put your questions or comments in the chat, okay. Jay, we have John. I saw John's comment a while back. Okay, he's saying, hey, buddy. Okay, I'm just trying to look for it. There you go. Hi, Coffee Talk and Tech. Hi, John. Oh, there, there he is. Go. There's the man of the hour. Yes. Of course, <laughs> How you, you doing, my buddy from New Jersey? It's good to <laughs> Hello. see you. All right. So, guys, remember John and Jay, they were the ones of the very first who were really supporting uh, mommy guide in the beginning and up to now all right at Margie, thank you all right so let's go oh. back to notion okay yeah i oh, think sorry. you made a good point yes. um i mean you made a good point if, if don't don't let this uh, overwhelm you or confuse you the the stuff that i was talking about with the planner we did step by step in the uh, live streams you did before so if you want to go look at that to get an idea or just to kind of see what notions about that's great in the case of the dashboard it may not be maybe in your best interest to try to build it with me i know that's kind of weird because a lot of times we do that it might be best to just go ahead and watch and, and absorb what i'm doing and then go mm-hmm. back and re-watch the of the video if you want mm-hmm. to try to re to, to do it yourself it, it everybody's different just depends on your your level of notion expertise so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to see build. I'm going to have to do a couple of things here. I realize I should bring up another notion. Hang one second. Where's my notion page? There we go. There we go. I'm going to grab this out of the way. I'm working on the browser, but there is an app for notion that you can download onto as well. A standing, a standalone app for Mac, Macs and uh, Windows, if you decide you want to go that route. I'm trying to, okay. All right, so what we're going to do is, what do we got to do? First thing we have to do when you build uh, anything in Notion is you have to create a new page, and there's a variety of ways of doing that. Mm-hmm. But let's just start a clean new page at the bottom left. We'll just go very normal, old school. I'm not going to use shortcuts and things, advanced ways. We're going to use very simple ways to get through. <clears throat> so you create a, a new page, and in our case, we're going to call it Crafty, uh, dashboard. Now we already have one in here, so I'm going to create. I'm just going to call it. Um, let's see, what can we call it? Uh, we'll go ahead. Crafty. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do it this way for now. My crafty dashboard. So we don't get confused. And so when you do that, you've totally got a totally new page, right, Jay? Yeah, totally we're. There's a whole new page. page. So we're going to create a whole dashboard from here. And uh, they always give you ID, uh, options at the bottom here. If you want to put a, t- you know, for us, we're just gonna we're gonna click off somewhere, and and we're not gonna do any of that stuff. We're gonna have a blank page. And with Notion, um, they always start you a new page or a pulled up page in this small view. I don't, I don't love. I don't actually like that. You can get around that. 
Um, but we're going to want to make it full size. Okay. So you can see what's going on with your, your crafty planner here. Um, I'm also going to get rid of this sidebar. We don't need this at this point. So the first thing that I like to do now with, with anything in building the dashboards, there are two, um, maybe the two things that are going to be new to some people and kind of critical. And that is how do you do columns? Cause sometimes that throws people. How do you create these columns? Cause I think in my dashboard, I have three columns. So some people don't, I don't know how to do columns. It's a little fussy. We'll, we'll show you how to do that. And then the second one is we're using widgets. So you can pull in widgets uh, to do these fun little things. Uh, the calendars, you could bring in your Google calendar if you wanted. Um, you could bring in quotes, you could bring in the countdown. So I'll show you a little bit of that and where you can go get these for free and how you would do that and are not hard. Okay, none of this is actually very hard. But the first thing I'm gonna do and uh, let's see if it's going to get in the way up here. I know Lava's trying to stay on it, but you got to put me back. I tell you, what, put me at the bottom left. I think we're going to be safe down there. Okay. So when you're when you've got your your dashboard page all ready to go, the first thing I, I like to do in this case is we want to make it full width. And so you're going to go up to these three dots up here if you don't know, and you're going to turn on full width. And you can see how it makes full width. That's the design we want. Um, I also like to make it, you don't have to, this is a user's choice. I like to make small text to try to make things a little more compressed and easier uh, to, to do here. So that's the first thing I would do and we're kind of set. So now the first thing after we get the page created and our alignment set up, we're going to want to create a cover at the top and put our little icon in there. And people are like, how do you do that? Just hover over your uh, My Crafty title or any page title, it all works the same. So once you know how to do this on one page, you know how to do it on every other page. And we're gonna add a cover. And you, if you don't know how to do that, there's a lot of ways to add covers, um, but you can change the cover over here and you can choose from their gallery or you can upload your own image, of course. You can use Unsplash and type in a, a category. Let's put in here, uh, let's see if we type in craft and see what it puts in here. Yeah, here we go. So I think I use something like this and then that's all you have to do and you got a title and if you don't like the way that looks you can hit reposition and you can drag it around to get a little bit more of a, a size that you want. So that's an option right there. So, you know, you don't have to put a cover in, but again, we want to make it look kind of kind of pretty. And then if you want to put a little icon in there, which I think is always nice, hover over it again, click icon. And then when you click on it, you can change that. Um, what I usually do is just type in like something craft. Let me see what, what we got for, or you know what? Scissors is a good craft option. So I'll put a little scissors up there. There we go. Our page is created. <laughs> so we're good to go. So now we have to do the, the balance of it. So let me just show you what we had. It's going to look a little different because I decided to use some different options, but this is our dashboard. So we've created the title or the cover page. Uh, the little icon. So now we're going to create the uh, body of this. So just to kind of give you an idea what's happening. So how do we do that? And this is where the, the fun comes in. So I, I created in mine uh, a little intro column that has a little uh, saying on it. Mine was called trust the timing. Yours could be something like, you know, um, you know, create like your inner self or your inner child or something like that. So maybe we'll do that. So how do you do that? I use call outs to do that. Okay. And so anytime you want to make something in and uh, add something with like a to do list or a call out or a title, remember, you're going to use the backslash key and it even tells you that right here at the bottom, um, right down there, you can see the, the slash right there. We hit that and, and we're going to have options. And then I want to use a call out box. So I just type in C A L L and you can see there's a call out box right here and we're going to click that. This works out really well for things like this. It gives you a nice separation you, and a color background and an icon. So we're going to put something like uh, create like your inner child. Okay. Something like that. Just for fun. This is kind of make it personal. And then maybe want to change this icon. So we kind of click on that and let's see if we can find like art or something, you know, create something. What can we use here? I know. I know what we're going to use. I like to choose this one right here, the painting. So we just use a painting one right there. 
Okay, so we have that in there. You see, it's pretty easy, right? So you could just go along and keep doing this backslash and adding things. If you're going to add a, uh, an image, you can add an image. And we've talked about that in the past. Those are some basics. If you need to get caught up, um, you know, look back at that. All right. So our next thing is we have to create three columns. And I'm going to drag this back in so you can see what we're building here. Um, and you can see we have this call out here, but we have three columns. So how do we do that? If you don't know how to do that, there's a couple ways to actually do that. I'm going to show you what I think is the easier way to do this when you know you're going to want three columns. So each of my columns has the headers. I'm using these call outs or whatever you want to call it. I call it a header. So I'm going to create three of those uh, first. So my first one I have in there um, as a call out and I listed it affirmations. So let's just do that affirmations that um, I'm going to change this actually to a star or something uh, that's fine we'll just, we'll just like this. that's fine and I'm going to put the second one right away and I call that one uh, the hub that's all our hub stuff and then I have a third one and I, I, I call this one quick hits they're just little small bites you know of information or things like that. I, whatever you want to call it's fine. So what we're going to do now is make our three columns. You could do this a couple ways, but if you already know you're going to do this, it's the easiest way. So this affirmation is going to be our left column. The hub is going to be our middle column. The quick hits our right column. So the easiest way to do this then is to go over here and this grabber. You can see the hand come up, hold down with your mouse, and you're going to drag it. And you're going to drag it to the right. And you can see that line, that blue line popped up right to the right of affirmations. You can see that, Lala, right? Um, you let go. And now you've got two columns up there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with quick hits. I'm going to go over here to the right. I see that blue line. And now I've got my third column. So we're actually done. We have three columns. Good night, everybody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so it, that, cause that can get tricky for people. The columns, I think thing, it can be a little fussy. Now that you have these columns set up, when you, when you take your mouse and go between them, you'll see a, a little line pop up and that's the grabber where you can resize your columns. You hold down and drag them. So now you're in control of that. I'll probably make this one like this and we could always adjust them more later. It doesn't really matter. Um, but there you go. So now if I want to have affirmations, underneath there i call them affirmations you just click underneath and you start typing so i had a bullet point and if you don't know how to make bullet points you can use an asterisk and hit space but let's just use the the normal way for now and hit the, the slash key and type in bullet list and then we're going to put in some a few of them uh, i am proud of myself uh, we'll put in i do things that matter to me and of course, these can be personal. They don't have to be what I, I put in here. Uh, I give myself, uh, let's see here. What is it? Space. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can type. Uh, I give myself a space. Learning girl. Okay, there you go. Uh, or curl. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so we have the affirmations uh, under column one like we wanted. I think I had one more. And so... A space down, a couple spaces, and we're going to put in another section here under this first column. So all you're going to do is, is, is go under there, and you can see it's down here. We're going to hit the, the slash key and hit call out, and we'll stop for a question here after this one so we know. So now, this is good that this happened, and we're going to call this one planner, and this is why I wanted to talk about columns. So you're looking at you're saying, wait, this is not underneath affirmations in column one. You're right. Sometimes notions will, will, will kind of fool with you. And it's got it, it's down, it's a whole column right here. It's a simple fix. We just go over here and grab this and we're gonna drag it. See, that's full. We want to drag it and I can see what happened here. And I, I'm glad this happened because that's what I want to talk about. This looks like what happened is it thinks this is in the uh, first column and it's not. And what you have to do with these, you have to learn with, with columns. You got to drag, see right, that big long line, that's a full column. 
You want to you want to drag it until the blue column is the blue line is under the column you want. If I wanted this under the hub, I've got to go under the hub. You see that blue line? Yes. If I want to go under quick hits, I'd have to go there. Uh, I don't want that. I want that to go under affirmations. So I put that blue line right underneath, and now I let go. That is in that column. So that that I think that's what frustrates people and puts them off from doing.、Um, Columns because it's a little confusing, but it's really not that hard. So now my planner, I want underneath there, and I'm going to go right there. You can see how the blue line now is only under that column, and I let go, and now we got it in the first column. And the last thing I'll mention on this, if we want to stop for a second, is that it feels a little tight here. I want a space, and the easy fix there is always just to go to the plus sign and hit that, and that will create a space underneath there, and now we got our space. Do you want to stop and ask for questions? Because I know that can be a little bit, of, a lot of information. Lala, All right, or, so or let's check. Okay, guys. So, do you have questions so far, thus far? So basically, what Jay has been、uh, showing us it's to actually come up with now. You know what? When we did our crafty planner, you know the dashboard was just simply the head. What do you call that? The header. Right, and then just bullets, basically, or just texts and images. But it's just basically just、right. one column, one for each of them. So it's like、yes. one idea after the other. But what Jay is showing us now, which is also one of the things that I requested, was for it to look like for more information to be there in a way that somehow looks like. Uh, you know, like a website or something that I want all information to be there in a you know the basic headers. Like for example, as what Jay said, affirmations, and then you have other things like in column formation. Okay, but you can put either text or images, and he will tell us later about that. So if you guys have questions, okay,、um, do you have? Let me see in the chat. Basically, everybody still saying hi、we're... to everybody. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I love and, that.、Um, Yes. I, I,、okay. it's, it's a super floop.、Uh, finally, wants to know how to add co columns. I hope so. And, and so, if you have questions, let me know.、Uh, I'll try not to go too fast. And I'm trying to cover the problems that you will run into, like we just talked about with the columns. But once you figure that out, once you understand how those columns work and how you can get yourself in and out of these little entanglements, they're really, really easy to work with. It's not really complicated once you know. The mechanism that、uh, that goes into this. So、uh, mm -hmm. I'll kind of reiterate that, and we'll continue building these columns. So、All、you、right. can, and you could have two columns, four columns, although that gets tight. Three columns, I think, is max for me. And、right. and like you said, Alala, it allows you to build out something a little more customized and have a nicer、mm -hmm. flow to、exactly. your so-called、uh, like website. So guys, if you have a question,、Oops. it's the, the easiest way for me to get those questions out. Okay, from the chat, from. Just the comments and the high ends and hellos, all right, is to put a Q before each one. Q colon, all right, so I can put them up faster. Okay, there's a question right now from Yoi. Is this a software notion? Yeah, I, it's it's, hmm, it's a good question. Yes, it's a software. It's an app. So, well, okay, it's a great question because right now,、uh, go ahead and put my my screen share up because I think that's a good question. It is a software. It's free, by the way. Don't buy Notion unless you need the Teams building thing. It's free. I, I'm using free. Don't don't buy it. It's it's a, it's a powerful app for free. It's amazing. So this、uh, I'm showing you right now. You don't see it, but this is actually the web browser version. They so they've got that. And then I'm going to show you. This is actually the standalone app version. They're the same, but sometimes it's nice to have an app outside of the browser、uh, for different reasons. And so you can just download for free on Microsoft or for Mac、um, the standalone app again free.、Uh, it they work the same. I like the standalone app because I can use more keyboard shortcuts and build things in. But yeah, so it is an app and it works on your phone. There's an app for your phone.、Um, it's hard to build on that. Um, but they're doing a better job of making it very, very usable as as we go. Their updates have been so wonderful lately. So,、um, good question. All right. So on the columns, 
on the columns, I just want to reiterate that. So when you're trying to move around something and, and underneath something, just keep in mind that blue line as you're holding it down. Don't just drag and let things up. Make sure you know where you want it to be. If I wanted to create a fourth column in between here, I would actually drag it till I see that and drag it right there, right? Now give me a fourth column. I don't want that. Um, I want that to be placed under here. If you go too far and you see that line all the way across the page, it's going to put it on its own single column like this. So that's all you really have to know to build columns. Outside of that, um, they can be moved around, this and that. So that's all you have to do. So with that knowledge, and then again, the only other thing is if you feel like you don't have a space, go to the item above your header and just cl click that button and just give yourself some space, a plus button, and we're good to go. So from here, kind of gets easier, okay, for the most part. So let's build out this left-hand column. I have a, a, a plan thing here, and I'm going to create a bullet here, and just there's a couple ways you can do this. The bullet list I'm going to put here, uh, you know, focus, uh, what I have on here, eat well, and look after myself. Okay, and this could be a daily planner that you update every day. It could also be a linked table for a, a task uh, table that you have, and you could bring that in so it brings up your today's only task. We'll do an advanced class on that down the road if you want. Um, and then you could have a checklist. So you could just add a bullet, uh, do a backslash and hit to do, right? A to do list. And then you'd have, whoops, I went down. I'm going to back that up and just delete, delete this right here. And I guess I don't. Oh, I see what I did here. I'm going to do it like this. I apologize. We're going to do to do list. And then we're going to build in um, a to do here. Okay. Well, that's not working out for me for some reason. See, sometimes, sometimes. Let's just create uh, uh, underneath there. We'll just go ahead and create a to do list and see where it puts us. Okay. So sometimes the bullets don't love to-do list. So we're going to take the bullet out and we're going to build a standalone if we can get the work. There we go. And this is going to put, um, you know, we're going to grocery shop because <laughs> we always have to grocery shop meal prep because that never gets old. Uh, and maybe we'll just study for uh, we'll study for exam. Okay, whatever. Okay, so we have a to-do list all underneath there and we're good to go. So for now, that's good. And we're not going to do the widget parts yet. We're going to get to that. Well, actually, we're heading into widgets because that's pretty much all that's left out right now are widgets. Mm -hmm. So I have all this flushed out. Um, pretty simple stuff in columns. Now we get into widgets and let's have a quick discussion about widgets. Lala, at this point, are you using widgets at all into your notion? Have you have you embedded any? OK, <laughs> no, basically it's all, you know, um, still images and text and links at this point. OK. Widgets can be fun. Uh, a little cautionary tale on widgets. Um, there's a lot of places you can go for widgets. We'll, we'll talk about that and I will give you that list so you can put them up on the stream maybe later. But my favorite one right now is Indify. Um, they're free. You just sign up with your Gmail account or whatever and, and then you can go in and create uh, widgets and you can see their list of widgets down here. Things like uh, life progress bar, uh, weather. You know, Google Calendar, you can bring in a counter. Well, I'll show you some of these because I did I did a bunch of examples I wanted you to see. Uh, in fact, let me just go to my, I'm going to back out of this. No, nope, I'm not going to back. I'm going to leave that page up. And I'm going to go to a page that I have where I did this for all of you. I played around with widgets. And so in I, here's some sources. I will put those up for you. But these are all widgets that I created really quick. These are all free. Uh, just to, for practice, for fun of it, right? So you can bring in like a, a clock. It could be digital. It could be analog. I love the oh weather gosh, widget. I love this. You can, <laughs> you can have a live stream countdown or a countdown to an event. Maybe you're going to have a kickoff event. Uh, there is one for Spotify, but I'm going to be honest with you. It's a no-go. It does not work. And I've read that um, it doesn't work for anybody. That's a, That's kind of a bummer. Oh. I did find some things like white noise or other sound uh, widgets you can bring in. So my, your best bet is probably not to use a, a music widget at this point. Uh, I know SoundCloud, SoundCloud, uh, SoundCloud does seem to work if you want to go that route, um, but I don't find it to be all that useful. Here is my Google. So I brought in my one of my uh, calendars 
Um, you can't add in here, but you can at least see what's on your calendar if you want. And you can even bring up, for example, um, the, the date, the, the, the task or the calendar event if you want. So that might be useful for some people. A lot of people are into you know, Pomodoro, for example. Um, I tried out a couple of those. I found the, the one from uh, Pomo Focus to be good. I'll show you how to do that if you want. And just a couple other ones. I do like the, 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 the clicker. Sometimes you need a clicker to go, okay, how many times did I do that? Or how many times did we talk about that in a session? That's kind of fun. And then a quote. So those were, I mean, there are other widgets, but those are just some primary ones that I used in the build of this. And I just wanted to give you some examples. So, all right. Um, let's go here and let's put a weather. Okay. And maybe we can put it for your area. So how do you do a widget? is the question, right? Widgets question. really are just, widgets are really just embedded things. So, you know, when we go and copy a photo, uh, we can embed, you know, an image in here. Um, we can embed a whole website. So it's just an embed. If, and you probably have heard that word before. Don't let that worry you, okay? I'll show you what that means in a second. Um, so how do you create a widget? So let's just say we wanna create a weather widget. So for me, I like to go, there's again, there's another um, app, app, option or what do they call it? There's another company that's got some pretty good widgets. My only problem with them is I didn't find they all work. Uh, for example, the Spotify one does not work. Um, also to really get useful out of them, you have to pay for some of them and that's fine if you wanna pay for them. I just didn't really want to, so I stuck with the Indify. Um, so what you're going to do is go to Indify and, and let's go down to the weather. Let's see. If we're going Jay, to, hold on. It? Can, can yeah. we know again the name of this uh, site where we can get free widgets? Yeah, in, I realize now you can't see it. You, uh, you can't see my tab. So let me do this. I'm going to bring this over like so. Indify. Uh, I can. I just covered up myself. Hang on a second. There we go. Uh, it's called Indify right here. I N D I F Y. All right, Indify. Thanks, Jay. No problem. Yeah, it's a weird kind of word, and I, I just realized you can't see my tab. So, um, at, at the top here, let me see if they. There's a little leaf, um, but yeah, it's Indify. So they didn't even All put right. their name at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. And yeah, we can put that maybe in the uh, chat if you want, somebody. All right, so here's the weather widget, and it just says create a weather widget. So we're going to hit create, and we're going to create a title for it. Let's just put uh, Lala Weather. I'll go like that. It's going to generate your new widget. It's very exciting. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's put. How would we put your weather? What, what we just is it the Phil, just the Philippines? You think? Yes. Spell that right. Manila. Is it two? Is it two L's? No, it's two P's. There you go. It's one L oh. and double P I. Oh, I, I feel so. Go. No, but anyway, right? It says Netherlands. Um, uh, yes. I must have Ours misspelled with an, this. With an S. Yes. But it says Netherlands right under here. No. That can't be right. <laughs> wow. That's kind of weird. Did I misspell it? -I Somebody help me out. E H I L I. Double P -I. Is it two P's? Okay. Yes, I N E S. Yeah, that's interesting. So they don't, they don't have it where I can. So yeah, they is don't it just to recognize Philippines? <laughs> maybe our well, um, overall location. Maybe uh, I think they'd probably do Hong Kong. Maybe just the region. Let's just do it for the heck of it. I'm wondering when you pull up locally if you'll get a different uh, view. Um, All right, let's see. But uh, that's that is bizarre. But we're finding out I, everything's in. Okay, we're gonna go with this one just to see. So the weather in Hong Kong today is uh, well. Well, they're just showing an example here. I don't know if this is actually it's an example. Oh, it's, is it eight? It is. Yeah. All right. So that's fine. Um, you can choose the number of days. You can set this, you know, to just three days if you want, and it will change. So it's really up to you how you want to lay this out. Um, Obviously, a lot of people use Celsius. You know, the U.S. is a little bit fussy yet, <laughs> so I don't know right. what you guys use. How about this one, Jay? Uh, can we do Manila? Sometimes Manila is... That's a good one. Manila. Yes, probably they do Manila. Manila? Still. Oh, there. Ma Manila, Metro Manila, Philippines. Uh, the fourth There we one. go. 
Yeah. Thank All you right, guys. Thank you, Marie. All right. So Marie suggested using Manila. That was a All good right, suggestion. I appreciate that. Great yeah, suggestion. I wanted something more official. So um, let's do it this way. I, I want to do the five like we had just for fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So five. And, you know, there's upgrades to unlock for certain things, but don't worry about that. And then you can oh. decide to hi you can hide today if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it. Do you do when Celsius you say or five, Fahrenheit? Jay, does that mean like five widgets we can get? Did you guys number of a number of days. Oh, number of days. Right here. Sorry. All right. Oh, oh yeah. In the free one, I think there are five five widgets for free that you can get. All That's right. plenty for most people. I'll be honest with you. Exactly. You start to run out of widgets after about <laughs> five anyway. Um, and then you can go to other places and get them or whatever. So don't worry about it. Uh, so you can change the color of the tax. You can change the color of. Um, let's see here. The background probably. You see, no, you can't do that unless you probably have the paid version. So you could probably do it. Um, you can set the widget background color. Um, mm -hmm. Let's just say, see what it looks like. Let's go to a really light color for the heck of it. Okay, you know, we can do like a color like that if you wanted. That's really up to you. It's really, it, whatever, twist it however you want. Exactly. But at the so bottom left- So it's customizable, left, right? Yes. Yeah, you can customize it for the most part. Again, if you want to pay a dollar a month to have all of this stuff, that's great. I don't, but some people might. And I, I, I'm only here to show you uh, where things are at, what you can do as an example. So you can see at the bottom here, bottom left, where it says, hey, when you're ready and you like the widget look, just go ahead and uh, click this embed copy code. So we're going to click that and it's going to tell you it's copied to a clipboard. clipboard. We're going to head back to our dashboard, kind of go where we want. We can always move it. Now, if you hit um, Control V for paste, I think it's Option V for you, for all of you uh, on the Macs. That's one way to do it. Um, I think you could. You know, I just realized you can do an embed um, with using the slash code and typing embed. And if you click on that, I use Control V on Windows for paste. I think it's what is it, Option V for Macs. Um, you could do it that way, or Command you can just v. do the backs. Yeah. What is it? Command V. Command, thank you. Um, yes. um, command V. Um, you know, if you do it that way, it'll uh, it'll, it'll still be up, just be an embed, right? Mm -hmm. So if I go back here and I do uh, Control V, uh, I just realized I'm, I'm sitting up in that right there. I don't want to be there. Oh, sorry. Where do I put you? <laughs> Um, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. All right, all right. So you, you want to, if you paste it, it's going to tell you to create embed. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what you're going to want to choose. And it will pull that widget in for you. Okay. Yay. And now, yeah. And you can see it, the size of your column will dictate how your widget comes out. Now you can, they got grabbers. You can resize this widget. In my case, we're going to probably want to just bring the, the column out a little bit. So we can get all five days in there. And if you want to shrink the height, you can shrink the height uh, a little bit wow. using these. Yeah. So those uh, grabbers they, will show up if you hover over the edges. If you hover over that that, that widget, uh, you can you can use those grabbers. You can use the that grabber at the bottom right. Um, if you want to shrink it up, you can use the one at the right. And then of course the bottom. These come in really handy because when you're trying to get things level, it's kind of nice to do that. So. Okay, that gives us. Uh, do you? I don't. I, do you use Fahrenheit or Celsius in the Philippines? Um, Celsius. Okay, so we're good. So that gives us our, our widget. Now, that's the basics of all widgets. There's, it's just an embed of a code. In fact, a lot of sites you could go to the the very page, uh, and just copy the URL of the web page and embed that. And you're going to get a view of that page, and you could size size around, and I can actually show you how to do that. So, All right, so really, again, widgets Jay, are instead of paste, we have to embed slash. Embed. Well, no, uh, paste paste is the same way though. Same. Okay, right. so let me just let me just show that real quick. Right. I'm going to delete that. There are two ways to embed. Mm -hmm. You can just con you can just Command V, uh, or uh, in my case Control V, and let's try it. I'll show you what that looks like. And when you control V or command V, you get these options. You can dismiss, create a bookmark or embed. embed. And we're going to want to create the embed. OK, so that does it that way. The long way of doing that, I'm just going to leave this here because you know it's fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to create a space underneath it. 
or you can just hit backslash, type in EMB for embed, and choose just embed that way. It's gonna do the same thing. And and you can paste in, whoops, oh, and yeah, I just, uh, I just, un right. I just, un it is a longer way, and I just unpasted my, uh, my link. So I'm gonna go back and copy it. <laughs> And then you can just cut, you know, and then either way you're pasting it. Okay. So, you know, you might as well go ahead and just cut to the chase and just do control V or um, command V. Jay, sorry. I, I, I kind of missed that. Uh, how did you add space in between? What was the command? Yeah. And that's a good question, right? So if you need a space or you need a new space, um, go to an item above. So let's just say, for example, this is, I need a space here, an extra space. Mm -hmm. My item above, you, that plus sign mm -hmm. right there, can you see it? It's underneath the nine for us. You just create, you just click that and I'll give you a space. Okay. All right, cool. Just plus. And if you need more space, click another one. <laughs> um, you you should you be able to. If you don't well, want that space, you want to go back and, you know, make, you know, just a little bit of a space, go delete or un um, command Z. Undo. Oh, I just. I want to undo that. Are you asking me? Are you are you talking to somebody in chat? Or are you asking me? You <laughs> sorry. <laughs> say, yes, okay, Jen. so what 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 would you say about deleting? Okay, so we added some space, right? And then we said, okay, oh, I didn't want to do that. So I want to go back to like just you know one space in between. So just oh command. yeah yeah yeah. If you don't want this space here, you can just click in it and probably backspace it out. Oh, um, yeah, you, I, backspace is probably your easiest bet in that case. All right, and that is, you. you have to kind of work through some of those. I agree. There's a lot, and there's a lot of times there's 10 ways to do things in Notion. Mm -hmm. So I like to do the easiest thing. So to add a space down here, uh, sometimes you can go after the widget and do it, but you can see it's really hard to do in this case. I just find going up here and hitting the plus sign uh, will create a space right here. And if I don't want that in there, I'll just click in there and then just hit backspace out of there and it's fine. Um, we don't need two of these. So we click on the grabber right here and we're gonna hit delete. Um, you could probably just hit the delete button as well. I right, hear from here and then I'll get you out of there. All right. Okay, Thank let's you. resize that up. All right, does that make sense or do we need to yes. do it again? We good? Absolutely. I'll, I'll do some more and then we'll be fine. All right. And let's see, what else should we add down here? Let me see, what do I have? Let's go to our dashboard that we're building. So you can see I've got, and when you load up, oh, I've got a slider in here, for example. Um, I'll, let me show you how I did that in case you're interested. I don't know if people would be interested in this slider. Go, you click here, we're gonna click the little leaf button, go back to our, our widgets. So if you want to build a slider, just so you're aware, it, everything's the same same way. Let's go, uh, here we go. It's called a, in my case, it's, these are my widgets. Let me scroll, scroll down here. It's called Image Gallery. Oh, and you can just gallery. hit that and you can put um, a little Lala, Lala Gallery, okay. And a page not found, that's a new one, of course. That's very interesting. Let's try that again and see if it's. Uh, it doesn't want me to have my name. In it. <laughs> uh, that's kind of weird. I had that. I had this happen a couple of times yesterday. So I think it's just oh, there you go. some kind you of weird thing with the server. Again. Yes. Right. So um, if you want, then you can. Let me see here. What do I got here? I got any yes, fun so stuff? Cool Several mm -hmm. images. Thank you so much um, to the Filipino community coming in. Janaline Sarah, Simple Ka, Josibel Gation. Marami salamat po. Andy Halper. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. How you doing? Let's see if I can drag a photo in there. Like something fun. See how it works. The I haven't done the drag and drop, but let's see how it works. Okay, a little oh, puppy in there. That's great. Instead of actually uploading it, you can drag and drop. Awesome. Yeah, if you if, so you click upload, you could just click on there. Um, I don't. Let's see if I got any. I don't really have any. Have any really fun photos? Oh, I've got one right here. <laughs> let's see how so this works. Like you out. have it on your desktop or something, so just simply yeah, a and... folder or a desktop or whatever you want to do. <laughs> so I got uh, this is from a while back. Um, <laughs> yeah, now just some fun photos. Yeah. So 
you know, put over what you want. You could do custom stuff. Uh, I like to use cover size because it, it blows things up um, to the full ver full width of the, the, the slider. Um, and so you could do things like take the dots out if you don't want those dots at the bottom. You'll have to play with that stuff, but they're all kind of work the same way. When we're set, you gotta go to the bottom. We click copy. copy. Okay, all works the same. And we're gonna go back over here. And you see there's no way for me to click down here, right? Oh, I can't get down here. So we're just gonna create a space underneath there like that. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna embed. So we're going to Command V or Control V. And we're gonna choose create embed. It all works the same. So once you figure out one, they're all gonna work the same. And now we got a cute little slider in there of this goof. And again, we can resize this out a little bit how you want. You could probably shrink it up a little bit if you want. Um, I've not used the slider for anything. I didn't even know they had it. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of interesting. You maybe you have some photos of your kids that you want to put on there or something like that. And you can have it auto rotate so you don't have to even manually do it. Um, that's kind of fun. It could be something for a stream. So that kind of gives us our left column. I think we're good there. And now we're going to get to the meat of it. If you, if you're ready to, we're going yes. to go ahead and get to our hub. I think that would be a good place to go. Um, and again, I'm in my second column. I'm trying to click in there and I'm like, oh, I, I'm, I can't click it. It's not building anything. Go to the item above, click the plus sign and it will create a space for you to put your cursor. In. Okay. And uh, once you figure that out, you won't be so frustrated and want to yell like I did when I first started with Notion. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Um, the hub, what am I talking about? Let's look at what I had built. Cause this is really, I think the cool part of this for some, oh, I always do that. I apologize. The app is a little different. I mean, I'm going to maximize this. What is a hub? Um, for you that might be walking in for me, first of all, this is really just a table, a simple table. Okay. That's all this is. I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to create a hub, another hub, and I'm going to show you how, how you can do that. And then you turn it into a gallery so you can have these photos okay ah. um and uh, yeah let's try this out this gets to be a little bit more of a thing but i, I, I want to show you how you do this because i think this is critical these widgets over here are very simple we'll finish up with those unless you think we should finish with the the widgets first maybe and then we'll come to this hub and finish that up because we're already I in the widgets. I have a question Maybe. right now, Jay. Yeah. Okay, in this gallery view that you have, it seems that there yeah. are actually, is that considered three columns of like images over there? Or it's just uh, really one column? Okay, so th this is one column. This, yes, it's one column. So this thing that I've, this table I've dropped in here is just under my hub and you can see that line that's underneath there that blue line it's one column but it's a great question it it's gonna sh it's responsive like a website if i shrink this column it's going to shrink the number of hub columns if i really shrink it, it's going to go to one eventually see wow. so it's nice because it's responsive for you yeah. and so um, I kind of spread it out to I had about three. I like that for me okay. in small mode. Um, but yeah. And so this hub is just, I call it areas of your life. And this is something, again, with the build a second brain, we talk about, um, using areas and projects of your life. And, and that's a, probably a discussion we should have someday to, yes, to absolutely. make this, um, easy. Uh, what they call it the para method projects, areas, resources, and archiving. That's all you need for managing your email, your folder structures, your, your, your areas of your life. That's all you need to manage everything really simple. And it works out really well. And I'd love to have that discussion someday um, yes, for all you I people who are feeling. I hope we can have that finished soon so we can have you back for that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come back for it. You could create another, sec, another thing called, um, you know, build your second brain. Uh, as a crafter and that can be kind of an offshoot of that but it, absolutely um, so to answer your question it's one column but you have the power to make that as many columns as you want by dragging the column that it's in so 
if you're asking yourself, how do you do this? Uh, how do you build a hub like this? Um, let's, let's talk about that. It's very simple, actually. The first thing you want to do, now you can build a table a lot of different ways in Notion. You can go to the sidebar here and just create a, a new page at the bottom and do it that way, but you don't need to do that. If you want to create a hub from scratch, um, I call it the hub, <laughs> your areas of your life, you just hit the back, uh, back key, backslash key, and you're going to type in table. Okay. I wish they would default to the database table, but they default to this, this basic blocks. You don't want that. You're going to want the database table. Okay. Right. Just, and that's almost always the case, but for whatever reason, they do it that way. You could type in probably um, database, I think, although I can't remember now. Probably so. Oh, there. Yeah, you could get inline, full. I find this confusing for people, though. Let's just type in table. So backslash table, okay? And choose the table view for ta the database, okay? And it's going to ask you to select a data source that you already have. We don't, we're going to pretend like we don't have this. Okay. I know there's a hub. I see it, but let's just create a hub, Lala hub. Okay. So we're going to create a new database down there. Just select that. And there you go. And it comes up the same way every time untitled and all this stuff. We're going to call this the, uh, the, the Lala crafty hub, uh, or Lala hub. Let's just do the Lala hub. Okay. And what do we do now? We just start typing in. So what are the areas of your life, right? Um, for, well, we know, like, let's just put like, uh, I'm trying to think of some things that you might have. Let's just, just book club. I'm just going to put some things in there. Maybe that daily journal. Um, what's another one? Recipes. I don't know. But, you know, you might have some things for your personal life, like travel, um, let's do another one. Maybe it's finance related, right? The home finance stuff or, or, or work finance. It doesn't really matter. Let's see. What's another one? One more might do. Um, oh, I know you have suppliers. Maybe you have a supply list or suppliers that you want to track, keep track of for your crafts. Okay. I'm just gonna throw that out there. You don't need this tag list. If you want to delete, you don't have to delete this at all. Um, if you want to delete a column that they put in there, just click on the title and delete property and hit delete. That's how you do that. So now you're set. That's all you have to do. And you can always add new ones later. You can delete ones. You can change names. You're not locked into anything here. All right. These are just major areas of your life. And people often ask, what is the difference between areas and projects? Well, projects have a deadline. Projects have a due date. They will finish. Okay. For example, I have a Lala, a Lala live stream today. That is a project I got ready for. Or if I'm going to create a YouTube video, it's the deadline. Or if I'm going to uh, travel to Italy, that is a project that is under the area of my life travel. So these are areas that have no end date. They are just an area of your life that are ever ongoing. If that makes any kind of sense. Um, they can be personal. They can be work related. They could be team related. It doesn't really matter. They're just areas. Okay. I'm just throwing that out there. So that's all you have to do. And then what you're going to do is you can create a new view, Lala, add view, and you're going to choose this gallery view right here. That's all you got to do. And it's going to turn them into a gallery and then you have options. Okay. You can show the database title or hide it. You can see how it hides that. I like to hide it. Um, and then you have the card preview. I always choose cover. That's the photo and we don't have photos yet. So there's no, uh, not going to pop up. And I always choose small for the card size. Okay. And that's really it. Those are the things I do. I, I hide the title. I choose page cover under card preview. I like the small card size. That's for me. You can have it however you want. You can always change it later. Okay. And then we hit done. And so you're going to say to yourself, well, that doesn't look at all. <laughs> that, that didn't look at all like what you had. You're right. And now you can drag these, by the way, in different orders, which is kind of fun if you need to do it. So let's just say you wanted to put a finance cover. There's no cover page. You can add a cover. 
like we always do. And you can change that cover. I always go to Upsplash and maybe I'll just type in finance or I'll so upload my own picture. Upsplash is a free uh, source of images. Right? These are free. These are absolutely free. And you can choose like, I don't know, let's just choose these coins. They're kind of fun. And now you got a cover. And what you'll see is shows up. So now you got a nice picture. And if you want to add something like an, an icon, I always find that fun. We'll put like, um, I don't know, um, a coin or something like that. No. Dollar bag. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. And you can see it puts a little bitty icon down there. It just depends on what you want to do. You don't have to like make it like this. I like to do it. I like the visuals. Um, and so you could go through all of these and, and do that. You could put all these these you could put all these photos on. Okay, we don't have to go through that and spend that time. I'll do one more. I'll do one for travel. Okay, so again, hover over travel, hit add cover. It always brings up some default. Hit change cover. I like to go to upsplash. And I mean, there's a bridge that's kind of pretty, but we could put travel in and you know, let's, let's put some mountains in there. I don't know. That's fine. Okay. Whatever, whatever suits you. And you can reposition this as well. You can drag and put it how you want. We're going to add an icon and we'll, you know, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. We go back and you can see that's all it is. And then we can drag that up, reposition these, and you can build out these areas of your life. And what that means is if I go into finance and I open that up, I can make this page however I want. I can put in databases to track my finances. Uh, I can put in links. I can put in um, widgets. You know, I can do whatever I want. If I want to make this page full size like the other ones, I can do that, right? Each one of them is, is, is you can make each page how you want it. Okay, you can customize it however you, you want that page. So, you know, you could put, you could track all your finances in here. And so when you come to your dashboard in the morning, you're like, I need to go into my finances and add in something that was related to my purchase for the craft stuff. Or maybe I want to start a project in travel. You know, we're going to go to uh, the Philippines. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to add in a travel to the Philippines. So does that hub make sense to you, Lala, what I did and, and what the purpose yes. of it is? Yes, this is so awesome because most of the time, as you know, Jay is telling us, there's so many facets of our life. Like in my case, I'm a mom, but I'm also mm -hmm. a working mom. So I have businesses. I'm also homeschooling and I'm also a content creator. So sometimes we have, you know, different planners, different ways of tracking all of these activities. But the way that Jay's, uh, Jay's actually showing us how to do this is to incorporate everything into one single dashboard where you can see everything in uh you know in an instant but at the same time if you want to go into the details just click on to each of them and then it will mm -hmm. pop up and show up so right so especially with someone like me who has like the memory of a fish <laughs> I hate to say, and I <laughs> that's forget. the point your so your is brain is not awesome. your brain is not meant to store all of that information you exactly. need to offload offload that into your second brain so in a way what we're starting to do in this way is to create a bit of a second brain mm -hmm. that these tables if you put back my screen share i i want to show the one i kind of finished to, to kind of hammer home your point a little bit mm -hmm. that um for you, for example, you're a content creator, you can actually create a separate content creator page, but we have a crafty planner, for example, which mm -hmm. kind of does that. So that's a whole area for you, right? So when you open that up, you have the power now of going in and adding new ideas, which I have over here. Now, by the way, we'll get into this, but I've created a calendar view of my plan, my projects that we're working on. And we'll talk about this, but you see these ideas on the left? Now I can take these ideas and I can drag them onto a date and make them into a project. And no longer an oh. idea, they are now a project with the date uh, built into it. So when I look, it, it took that date and I can start creating that page for that project by doing that. And if I want to drag it back into an idea because I'm not ready, it goes back and drags into an idea. So I think this would be a great a uh, new planner that I'm going to try to create. You know, you already have the idea. I can just show you how we did it and, and we'll do that another time if you want. Yes, but yes, I think I'm going to use this for, for all of these. Um, I think drag and drop is really a great way to go for creatives. 
And for people who don't want to use these tables all the time, the tables are life and they do have a, a purpose, but sometimes it's just nicer to have the visual um, to get in and out of things. So if you, so yeah, you're right. If I want to create a new area, uh, let's just say um, for school, I don't know, um, kids schooling. I don't know. I'm just going to throw one up there. Okay. Mm-hmm. And status of that right now there's no status of that right now so we're just going to create that we just create a new area we have one for kids schooling and i just open that up i can go in there and add a cover you know let's go ahead and put a, a school thing up here real quick just to show you how quick it is to add in um you know some kids schooling stuff like that you know whatever um and now we have kids schooling you have a whole page a whole area for that if you wanted to and and this page now you can put you can make this huge right you can put it as kids planner you can put records of what they did of their grades of their what they learned a certain day or what or plan out projects for kids schooling i don't know um put a calendar up there for things they have up and coming so there are a lot of things you can do to manage your life from this overall dashboard and this hub so i hope that makes sense i, I don't want to confuse you um, the whole point of this is to try to make your life a little bit more manageable by creating a main operating life operating system menu, which is what this becomes. <laughs> okay. Um, do you, okay. Are we good? Should we All continue right. so, to, um, there are several questions, Jay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Just... let's start with one from Nazi. Uh, I'm okay. not sure if, okay, hold on. I'll put it up there. I'm not sure if you talked about it already, but can I integrate it? to a social media page or if i have an app can i open it on a web version or are are they two different things um several questions up there look, let's go back to the first question because it sounds like it's two right. questions i'm not exactly sure so the first question was about social media um are you yeah, saying yeah. share the page share the page to a social media like facebook or are you talking about bringing facebook into notion did what did, did you what did you glean from that question mm. I Lala. think probably um, both ways. Let's say if they want to come <laughs> up with, for example, um, they want to post something for Facebook, so they oh, okay. like, put it up on their um, Notion okay. as something that's okay. supposed to be uploaded, and then the, can it get uploaded from their Notion going to, let's say, IGFB? Is that a possible thing for Notion at this point? Um. Yes and no. I mean, mm-hmm. there's nothing within Notion. You could probably create something with like Zapier um, that, that, that takes a lot of things and builds processes. I'd have to look into that. It's a great question. And, and I want that question to work on as a, I would like to d- take some questions that we can't answer maybe now mm-hmm. and maybe sometime come back and, and answer those questions um, in an actual stream to say, okay, here's some great questions. Mm-hmm. I would say this, the best way to save or to have a viewing page though. Um, so for example, let's let's take for example, the Crafty Planner, mm-hmm. okay? And let's say you want to share that, you want people to go to this page, or maybe your page you created is an informational page about an up and coming event that you want to make available for people, okay? It doesn't matter what it is. You can share the page publicly. Because what I would do is, is at the top right of any page, and you may have to move me again. No, no, no don't move me. I'm going to bring it All down right. a little bit. <laughs> I, it's just, yeah, you need to you need to move me down to the bottom left. All right, you go back here. All right, there you go. On any page that you want to share on, like say Facebook, or any or Twitter, it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. Um, at the top right of every page is a share button, and when you click that share button you're going to have the ability we talked about this in, in one of the uh yes, live streams i did second, with you was all about sharing yes and so if you need a little bit more information on sharing go hunt that out if you want but you just got to click the share to web okay and there's a link button right here okay and you just hit copy and now you can paste that in your post in twitter and facebook uh instagram is weird about external links so i don't know that you're gonna be able to do that unless you fiddle around a little bit with it it's a little bit weird but with any other type of posting you'll have no problem just it's a link 
to and it just creates a web page that now somebody can go to my only thing is if you're going to do that um leave these unchecked and so probably edit. uncheck that <laughs> just yes okay so don't allow duplicate right, okay got it, got it. and then all you have to do is go to your your post and i don't know if, do i have facebook up let me see you can see my inner workings on my facebook page here um not logged in on this particular browser so you won't so let me go here go here um let me see if i'm logged in so while jeff is um looking onto that marie is saying notion and discord are our club's lifeline we don't know what we're gonna do without it again they learned from watching you jay um oh, on our I appreciate uh, show that. yes both of us are the same way let me see if I can drag this over. I apologize. We're getting uh, in, okay, infinite warfare effect. here. So let me, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, Facebook. Uh, I can't log in from, yes. I'm not logged in from here. I don't have my, Hi, my information Angelica on this one. Gagno, make a love shout out. So all you're going to do is take this. You're going to, um, let's go back to our page. I'm in the wrong page. We go back to uh, the app. And again, uh, let me see. I'm law. I want to see what I'm doing here. Blah star. Where is our feed? I've lost you. So I, I'm still on, right? Yes, yes, you are. Okay. Uh, we're I on just, the crafting lost, planner still. I know what happened. I lost. I went yes. in. So um, some uh, crafters are like. Um, Jay's voice sounds really familiar, and then eventually they said, "Oh, sounds like one of the crafters that we love so much." Oh, I appreciate that. I gotta find my. Um, for whatever reason, I can't find our, our stream. So basically, what <laughs> let me just Jay let me let me tool around do, here. Uh, <laughs> to do here is to show Nazy uh, about her question of how she can actually use notion hmm. to share some of the stuff that she has there onto her social media page there we go, there we go. i apologize yes. everybody it's a user error but uh we're gonna get through it so okay all right so again let's just talk about that on any page you want to share out or post out hit share yes. now again this is going to be public so if you're going to do this just remember anybody can see it that has a link however um it, it, there, no one's going to really find this uh by accident Okay, so that these these links are pretty. Look at this link. I mean, it's it's pretty goofy, um, but let's copy it, and I've got it shared now. If I go to, I'm going to go to my um, a new web browser, and I'm going to paste this in my. Yeah, you can see it. Let's go there. I should be able to pull that page up that I just shared. Yep. So this is the page I just shared. So if this was posted in, in YouTube. This page will, you know, just like any other web page, yeah, it will come up. So I, I don't know if that answers that question. That's the way to do it. And then if you want, when you're done with that, just so you know, you can go back and I can unshare that to web. And then All we're right. back to square one. So okay. There we so go. I hope that, I hope that answers, answers that, that one. All right. Actually, for me, um, the way I do it, Jay, is um, I actually have something very similar to what, you know, like a crafty planner. But for me, it's more or less... Um, the things that um, I actually require from my guests and for a specific show. So, and then I share like what Jay did, right? Share to web. But instead of yeah. share to web, I just share to specific email. Yes. All right. And, yeah. and right. I click on edit because this is my guest. So if they want to change some of the things in there, like some of the, maybe they didn't, don't want the title that I, you know, I am planning to, um, <laughs> To uh, put yes, can be so, so they hard. Can edit that, right? So I have yeah. uh, made a Notion file for my, you know, my run of show, and I have I only give access to um the people I want to have access to. So basically, just my guests, not not the whole yeah. you know web. Again, because that's for my guests. Okay, so like for Marie. Uh, of uh, Marie Vicente of Craft Create and Swap Club, they have one notion for their admin, right? So again, it's very uh, customizable. So 
So it's up to you how you are gonna do it. But how to actually do that, we just learned from you know how Jay taught us. For if you again, if you want, you you can rewatch on replay the two previous episodes that we had with Jay. It's we, we very went. very detailed, guys. Very detailed because yes. to your point. You don't always want to share things publicly anyway. And and so you can share directly to people through the email. The difference there is generally they have to have Notion themselves. Mm -hmm. Now that's a free account, um, but that puts the you know the onus on them to to get Notion, but it's it's fine. I mean, I have a lot of accounts that things I have to have to work okay with people like Trello and things like that, or even Google. Um, so th you're right. And it's very you want to be very careful with that on certain information. But the share with the, the link would be something you can do publicly and you can lock it down and then take it out. So, All yeah, right. we went into great detail on okay. that. Okay. And next, another question, Jay, is yeah, um, sure. Um, when you added all those widgets. All yes. right. And then you have all of those widgets uh, that now your, your, your dashboard looks like an awesome website, right? Um, <laughs> right, exactly. Yes, and we're supposed to be using just the free version of Notion. So when you put on all, all of those widgets and customize it, that's just like what you did. Will it still remain a free Notion page? Or yeah, do I Notion doesn't. Be... Notion doesn't care about your widget use. So it's just an embed, like a, any other, like a photo, like a video, uh, uh, or an embed website. They Notion themselves do not care how you use your widget the widget company that you go to or use now in defy i just use everything that's free i didn't pay for any of that stuff and i think it's fine if you need more control then of course you always how it goes it's like oh if you want to be able to do this pay two dollars a month fine some people may need that or want that um but for people who just want general things Go to Indify and or other. There's some other companies out there, and there are some web pages you can just copy and paste the web page in there. So, I'll give you an example. Actually, if you put that's a great that's a great thing we should talk about here. There's one of these, a couple of these were actually web pages. So I'm just going to go into my demo because I created a demo area of the widgets just to show you what it is, and I'll show you how I did it. Um, go down I think it's the I didn't care for this particular a lot of people use Pomodoro uh, a lot I didn't care for this one right here uh, just didn't feel like it it has a lot of things it's not bad um, so I'm you may not agree with me that's cool um, I use what's called the Pomo focus one and you can see when I hit start it'll start the countdown I can use short breaks um, it has a short break and you can set how long these are and it saves into your account and you can put task in you can do all, it's all free um there's a paid version of this as well i'm going to show you but this is this is a, a, its own web page um called pomo focus in fact i'm gonna click pomo and copy focus. that let's see i'm just gonna click that link this is a <laughs> embedded let's see if it takes me where i want to go okay allow so this web page which is pomofocus.io um we should get all these links to you um you can see this is all it is you can log in if you wanted i don't even think i created a a thing or maybe i did create a page but um you don't have to you can probably just cl click this and, and copy it out you can't see it i just realized it i just copied the url because i see my url is not part of my let me scoot this down a little bit so you can see maybe so it's Pomo Focus up here at the top in the in the address. I just copied that. Okay, we just copy that link. Okay, and if we go back, I'm just going to do this quick, just to kind of proof of concept. Control V, Command V, whatever. Embed. It's going to be down here, and you can see it just puts it right in there for you. The way you have this arranged, Jay, it doesn't look like there's really like a column. Because the one's right bigger, one's oh, smaller. Yeah, it, that's a great point. Um, and sometimes you don't want it to look like a column, like a good website doesn't. So, for example, these are two columns so in this. This is a demo that. area. And because these are different sizes, and if you want these to be the same size, you can, you can make these widgets the same size by dragging up, and you can also make them wider <laughs> so even though it's so, on default onto just two columns you can actually put like three widgets on yeah 
Absolutely. Um, no, these are not defaulted to two columns. This oh. this is two columns here. You can have mix and match. Uh, if I didn't make oh. that clear. So if I wanted two columns here, I can have two columns. This is three columns. If I want four columns, I can actually do oh, that too. So let's just say we drag thing. this. It's a per line thing. So it's not like the whole column, like if you have on a regular, let's say, um, Excel I'm so glad you brought that up. Or, yeah. Or think or of Word each file? column. Think of each of these as a section. Mm -hmm. One block can be as many columns, could be one, 10. We have another section underneath there, could be five, three, two, one columns, right? So you can mix and match however you want as you go. And now the question is, how do you do that? Because let's just say, for example, let me uh, take this. I'm going to use this as an example. I'm going to put it up here. Now it's going to create, this is four columns. How do I know? Because I've got one, two, three, four <laughs> separate items here. I got three items here. I got two, so that's two columns. And that's four columns, right? Mm -hmm. So how do I take this and put it in a, a new column that's one column? Mm -hmm. And it's not hard, but it frustrated me at first till I figured it out. I'm going to grab it, okay? And I'm going to drag it and see that big line mm -hmm. all the way across the page? I know I'm in a new section, one column. Ah. And that's why it's all alone right now. Now this widget won't, you know, I can stretch it all the way out because it's one column. Now, how cool just, is that? Yeah. Now, if I want to take this one, let's see here, and I want to drag it next to it, that can be its own column like this, or of course I can drag it to the right of this one where it turns blue, and now we're going to make it two columns. Now you can see that that column is odd, right? Because it's yes, really it's tiny, too much space and I don't even know. I, I can make it bigger. I can bring it closer even, you know, or I can move it over here and I can drag this one all the way across. You know, it's like painting. It's, it's like, it, it is like a, it's like a responsive website in a way. And so you can make these any way you wanted. So I'm glad you brought that up because, um, I, I, I would have been mis remiss if I hadn't brought that up. So you can make them look how you want. So, there you go. That, did I answer the question? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Jay. You know, I, I, I actually thought that, you know, it's like Excel file thing where once you put this you column here, fixed. everything that you put in there is like together. So that's super great. So it's really just like a website where you have sections. Yes. Right. That you can yes. actually customize. Right. All right. And yeah. And, it, and says, when you look yes. at this, you, you look at this and you go, and that's what's so beautiful about this. You've got that hub that's kind of going all the way down the middle. It's one thing. But then you have these others, so it, your eyeballs are kind of fooled into thinking this layout is is a multiple of things, and really all this is is three columns. And what's funny is if I take this planner now and I put it all the way up here, let's see here, uh, if I can get in the middle of this, it's going to create that fourth column if I wanted to, right? I don't want to do that, uh, and I can hit Control Z and I can undo that or drag it back. Um, but yeah, you could have four columns up there. Now at the bottom here. I'm still, you can see that div that dividing tag when I hover over, that tells me I'm still on my columns, right? Mm -hmm. But again, if I want to drag this into its own, I want it to be big, I drag it till I get to the big blue line all the way across and I let go. And now it's going to be nice and big and I can actually take this now and make it huge. You wow. don't want that because it's really me. You have to play but... with it, guys, right? And see, oh, there goes your slider. <laughs> huge <laughs> one, right? So I, I right. hope that uh, answers the question and that makes sense. But Exactly. And on that note can be as well, all right? So the next question yeah. would be, all right, so you said that you can add like sections, right? One after the other. Yes. Will it like, how how long or, you know, at what length will it hmm. like stop you from creating any more sections? I've not tested the the... the <laughs> the depth of a page yet, but I will tell you, it's pretty much going to be infinite. It will just keep building and building and building. Uh, the question becomes: Best practice is that use is that useful for you or not? And and that's another subject where possibly what happens in that case where you're like, oh my pay, I want more things, but my page is getting too long. I'll give you an example. You can you could even copy this. So if I click on this planner title and I just duplicate it, I've got two of them. 
I probably did that without me, you guys seeing that. I just realized that because I wasn't in there. I'm going to go back and delete it. So you can, um, there you go. So you can also duplicate. So I can click that and hit duplicate. And I've got two of these. And maybe what I decide to do, I'm, just, I'm going to show you. I'm going to drag that down here. And this is going to be called, um, I'm going to put this like um, sources. It doesn't really matter. Like it could be just information, right? That I want to link to. And then what you can do is, is link out to other pages, right? So you can hit link and you can link to a page and maybe it's another page inside your uh, planner. If you don't know what it is, you can search for it. So um, let's just put hub. I'm going to put hub. I don't know why. Uh, let's see here. So it, let's go to our, our daily link journal. to your own files in Notion. You can, you can link it. So what's nice about this, you're creating a, a, a website link menu here, right? Mm -hmm. And I can put one more just for, to hammer it home. We create a space. We hit backslash. We're going to link to a page and I, that I missed, I messed up. There we go. Link. And it says link to page. And you, it gives you some ideas, probably ones you've used or main ones, but there's a search for page up there. I'm trying to think of one I could use here. Let's use one that's um, we already have in here, like recipes or something like that. No, no, we're going to link even to your crafty planner. So let's go to crafty planner. Now we can get there from our hub, but you can see now I can get there from that link. So you can navigate your whole notion world by creating inside here your hub your your overall planner dashboard you can create menu system daily journal go to my daily journal and type some notes really quick if i don't want to put that in my hub or whatever um you can even create an external link but yeah you can link to any page inside your notion exactly. right so, so if you don't want to keep yes. going down and down and down and down and down yeah. you can start to create sub pages um here too so one more thing I'll show you. I think I'm going to see if I can do this. Um, sorry, let me do this. Let's see if the page. So I can embed a sub page. And so you create and it creates a whole new page. And let's just create resources for crafting. Limited. Doesn't really matter. So it's basically um, just I'm not to gonna... make sure that you still remember <laughs> what you have put I'm in sorry? there, right? Say that again. I said, you know, it can go as deep as you want it to go, right? So yes, but you can create these sub pages inside, and you can see at the top left. You can't see it because the thing. I'm going to drag this down. Oh, there you go. In Notion, it's like a website. It creates breadcrumbs to let you know where you are. Okay. So if I go back to our dashboard and I click resources, that that resources. For you can see it's it's showing me okay you can go back just click yeah. back like if you if you want um, yeah so so that's why it's really like super can, it's nice. it's like a website exactly <laughs> yeah. so and everything um, is every it's like in a you know in a in a single look right the view you can find it there okay another one um, Jay, Jay is there uh, if you have like let's say Google Calendar. Or if you have, like in my case, Calendly for um, some of the my meetings and uh, guestings and other stuff, is it possible to actually put my Calendly onto that dashboard? Um, yes, I think. Uh, I mean, you can, can I, oh, that's, that's, well, you know what? I have Calendly. There's ways to connect Notion to Calendly. So it just depends on what you want to do. That's generally going to take that Zapier, which is kind of, you know, if you don't know Zapier, it's a, it's a little app that's a bridge between a lot of disconnected apps. And it allows you to, to take them and, and put like a Lego system, put them together for a big flow, a complicated flow. So, so maybe what I can do is just to get 
the the stuff from my calendar and put it in the calendar that I actually what I mean what what would you good question so are you talking about taking Calendly and put in a notion so you just you're only a notion and you can create stuff in yes, Calendly at, in notion because yes, at this point what I do is I send out Calendly my Calendly to my different mm. for example whether it's for business or for my content creation and of course okay. i put there the dates and the times where i am available and if they find something there that fits with their schedule and then they click on that one and then i see it right and in my calendly let's say i have one for my center one for my stream one for my crafting so and then calendly gives me like um a collated calendar where everything okay. is there so i want that one that's collated already so that i know that i don't you know it don't it doesn't overlap because before i went into this sometimes i would forget like um hmm. you know um oh i actually have a schedule or a meeting with this but i forgot because i only remembered that you know uh, with this person and then it got changed and then in my mind it was still the old schedule but with calendly i see everything in an instant yes so i just want that part where it's the consolidated one to be placed in my notion like dashboard is that possible <sighs> not yet that is <laughs> um there are ways to embed i i see for things like wordpress and and wix and you know what oh, i don't right. have a great answer but i i kind of want to try something mm -hmm. if we want to try something in real time and uh let me bring you back here i'm up let me just i'm going to go into my dem it's a development area mm -hmm. and let's just go to the bottom of this sucker guys if you I have try questions something. please do so okay we're almost at the end of our stream with jay tonight so yep. um don't be shy just put in your questions put a cue before each question please all right there you go <laughs> yeah you go so i'm gonna go to the bottom here and i yeah here we go uh, i see i've got to add a little section here myself and i'm gonna do something and try this this is gonna be I don't know. I'm doing it on a whim because I don't know that this will work. Um, so you can see what happens. Um, I'm trying to embed my calendar. And mm -hmm. and you can see, uh, so this is my 15-minute calendar. It doesn't look like you can navigate. You can pull up some things. Hmm. Well. Oh, that one looks like Calendly, actually. It is Calendly. So, right, so I wonder. <laughs> I think, depending on what you do, it looks like you can. I'm just trying. I looked at their website. They didn't. So they didn't give me any information on doing it with Notion. But you know, I have a calendar right here. So if you're, if you're, I have a couple calendars, like a 15 minute calendar. Do you have like just one calendar? You have a couple calendars. Um, I have different for the different uh you know yes. uh, sections okay. that i added like for my live streaming for my businesses okay. for my kids just, but then just, there is one that it would show you if you click on it i forgot what does it hold on i'll check it out what's that prompt where it will show me the combination for all the different calendars that i have mm. um i think it's called china my internet is very slow, but it's almost there. Okay, <laughs> Mampina one Kenobi, hi from Jason. Okay, it says the scheduled events. So if you click the scheduled events on top, so it will give yep. you like like a ah. daily, and then it will show you. It will come from the different calendars that you have. But at least you know, yeah. right? So it will right. Yes. So you've got a date range. Um, I don't have any events on here at the moment. Um, I can see some problems with the way this would work with embedding, but I think I want to play with this because I know you can embed into, um, well, you can embed your calendars so somebody can schedule. I don't know that you can embed this, the schedule events thing. You want to be able to look that up, right? And right. see, okay. do you, are you also, that. yes, yes, Jay. are you also, are you also wanting to create within that? as well because you cause so it's like um i'm every time i update my calendly since it's gonna be somehow you know the link will be there so every time i change or make changes or add-ons onto that calendly i will see mm. it 
like the calendar there will be bullets there okay on the 23rd i have something and, and then when i see bullets i can click on that and it will show like what you did a while ago your calendar would show like oh i have a schedule at 11 and i have another schedule at one and so on and so forth so right like right I, I yeah i think there might be a way to do it it may not be i think there is a way maybe to do that i'll play with that for you i uh, might have to fudge it Sorry, a little Jay. bit <laughs> I was like, um i think do you also have is your calendly connected to your google a, a calendar yes yes so would it, i mean would it be helpful to bring in your google calendar that has those dates uh in it so you can look at your calendar so for example i have this is my drum up calendar studio now i don't have my calendly i, I don't have any events um but it would bring in a calendly event and i would be able to see that on these days right and i'd be able to kind of just go to whatever month i want to go to and if it's a calendar i can click it and look at it i, I don't know if that's useful for you but that's another way of, of doing it is so to create of a calendly just the google calendar yeah so you could you could see all of your events that are scheduled on top of each other <laughs> um in okay. yeah and, or if you wanted just the calendly you probably could just create a calendly google calendar in your your google and it would only bring in your calendly events and then bring in that that specific calendar as a widget so that's one way of doing it if you just want to be able to see what you have scheduled on your calendly and then you can click the event and take a look at the details it, did right. that does that sound like it would solve that issue yes. or no yes absolutely now it's clear okay so i just have to check first and play with that okay i'll try to do that you know attaching it to my google calendar first right and then also i'll try if i can you know attach calendly somehow <laughs> it didn't actually know well how. i'm gonna play with that it's a good because i do have calendly i would like to know that's a, that's a really good question if nothing else to be able to see but i think in the worst case scenario it would be nice to have calendly when you create those events have those events go to a Google Calendar that you could bring in, either uh, an overall easier, one so you can right? see if they're butting up against other appointments, mm -hmm. um, or if you want to be able to just see it on your own, that can be done. You can just create a a, a, a Calendly Google Calendar specific, and then bring that calendar into um, your dashboard. Now, I'd be happy to help you do that because I'd be interested in that. Um, yeah. And I've already kind of done that in a way because you saw that under my Mm -hmm. that's exactly yeah. what I did right that. and that's not very hard because again you're only going to um, if you go to uh, here it is let me bonk this down if you go hey, to guys, indify if you have questions all right so last few minutes here <laughs> all right okay if you go to indify there's a calendar widget mm -hmm. and you can click you just click on that and it's going to have you sign in with the Google account you want and then choose which of the calendars. And I have a bunch of calendars in there. You can choose which calendar. So let's say it's it's, it's uh, Calendly. Calendly. You would choose that Calendly, click the uh, copy button and embed it into your dashboard and you'd be good to go. Hmm, so Yeah, I think that would be, that would be, it. we'll try that. We'll try. Right. <laughs> That's and one that, way to go. The thing anyway. is we have like so, several yeah. calendars within Calendly. So I'm not sure if. You know how we're oh, okay sorry um we're well that. you could you you should be able to put all those different calendars into the same google account mm -hmm. so they they should all show up right, right. so if i have a, a personal and a, and a business calendly mm -hmm. i should be able to have those all go into attached to that particular calendar and and bring those in and then i can just bring in that calendar you could also separate them to their own calendar so you can do whatever you want but probably be better just to have them under one one calendar and you can see exactly. them all together Thank yeah. you so much for, for actually for me. I think that's it for the question. So are we done okay. with, are there some other things you want to show us from, I mean, you know? we don't, we don't really need to go in. I had other widgets in here. I could add one more widget so you can all see right. if you really want. Um, it's not really that important. I mean, the widgets are, are all being created by Indify. I think I had one in here that you liked, which was a countdown. So if we did yes. a countdown, um, one, that's kind of cool. I did one. I liked where it, uh, I'll go back to that, but um, the countdown. So let's say, la la, countdown. It doesn't matter what you name it. <laughs> um, 
it's a small widget. It's really not that hard. You can do some things like, so for example, the event title is um, stream. We got a live stream coming up, right? Yes. And then you choose a date and time. So we're going to choose, you know, July 2nd at whatever time. Doesn't really matter. And so it's doing, it already knows the countdown, which is kind of cool. And if you, you can choose to remove like days and all that and stuff. I want to leave everything on there. To that? So that, huh? let's say the thumbnail of, you know, the stream for that one. No, just the countdown. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I won't, it won't give you a, you could do that though. For example, what I would do, that's a great, that's a great, you can do a, a color by the way, which is probably advisable because it's not very pretty. Um, let's just put a color of any kind for now. Let's copy it. Let's go back to our dashboard and we've got a space already under here. So we can hit control V command V. We do we embed. It's going to come up. We're probably gonna have to size it. You can see that no, it's fine. And we can, we can size it up, but if you wanted to put the thumbnail picture, keep in mind, that might be a good idea. Create a, create a space in here, right? Okay. and uh let's see actually i can just drag yeah, one so over. let's say you oh. have a week in 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 the week you have like three streams coming up right so it's like you can put like stream one stream two and then there's a countdown for each one of well them. let's just say this is a thumbnail you could put the thumbnail there right and ah, then so you, you could put, put it on you top put that underneath there just, there might be ways to associate that and build them out mm -hmm. um but this you looks know. okay or, this looks great yeah so it's again these widgets are really really easy to do once you do one you've done them all almost um but you know at some point that the the tough thing with dashboards is they can be so distracting because there's there's a lot of fun to do um hey thank you fine art i'm glad you stopped in and and it was great to meet you and i hope you learned something today from all this this googly gawk in my head um have a wonderful night i guess or day um <laughs> Yeah, so these dashboards can be a lot of fun. So you end up playing more than you do work sometimes, <laughs> but yes. that's okay. We're artistic people. We need we need to have it the way we want it. So there you go. And if you All want, right. I I can always share that dashboard to you to well, share out to your, great, your Jay if you yeah, can so, so they can see it. Yeah, I'll do that so they can see the final because the final product's not here. The final product we'll show you one more time or i call the final product this is what yes. we we built in there if you want to be able to see that I, i'm happy yes, to please, um Jay, if we can have like a link to that one so yeah i'll do that for you yeah, yeah see it and then you know as we you know the way we learn is we first use what like well, how we learned notion with you is you gave us all the you know elements so to speak and then we started with just you know um doing uh working with those and then once we got the the know-how, then that's how we yes. actually eventually customize. First, you need to know how to do it, right? So thank you, Jay, in advance. Okay, yes. for the for the link and for you know for those. Okay, we just want to say hi for those who are coming in quite late but are here. Hi, Jason. Hi, hi Simply Jason. Mate. Thank you so much. And of course, fine art of distraction. Nathan needs to leave <laughs> because You're it's welcome. pretty late for him really right now. Oh. All right. Okay, there you it's go. Safe. Yes. Okay, Jay. So, um, please, you know, um, before we actually say goodbye tonight, okay, and morning to you, actually, maybe you want to invite them over for what's coming. All right. And if they need to, you know, get in touch with you, they want to know more about Notion and you know. Absolutely. About so, brain, um, my right? my channel is J A Smith, just like you see it, J A Smith over at YouTube. So YouTube slash J A Smith. Come over if you. You don't have to subscribe, but if you want to, that's great. We're, we're getting ready to put out some some more videos, and we're gonna start gearing it into uh, obviously Notion, Realm Research, but productivity mindsets um, for creatives. And um, my in my about, there is a uh, email. Feel free to write anytime you want. Go ahead and direct message me there. I'm happy to do it. Um, you probably can find me in places like Facebook and and, and Twitter and Instagram, but. Um, just go ahead and use my email. I'm happy to answer any questions, not a problem. And um, I've got some wonderful ideas, I think, to, uh, you know, like you said, you need to learn how to use Notion, get kind of comfortable with it, and then start building ideas. And But it's hard to build ideas till you understand the power of it, till you understand how it works. But I think we're getting in, into that point where I think creating an overall air, uh, Notion universe dashboard or menuing system for your life is a good time. And I think we should build out on this. And I've got some really wonderful ideas, not only to build um, 
I think we need to get into building in the future this drag and drop calendar for your ideas and what you're planning. I think that's really nice for that. But also, how to use templates to make your life so much easier. So when you want to add something, you're not having to re-add and all the information that you're constantly re-adding, that you can add a template, you, you can make a bunch of different templates for different types of streams. You could make a template, by the way, Lala, for different collaborators that come live stream quite often, for me, for some other people. So when you go to add them into your upcoming stream or your area that you, re you were talking about, you would just choose J.A. Smith and all my information's already dumped and already in there and saved. All right, so you don't have to re-enter anything. That's so a great idea. It's a, it, templates are such a lifesaver and a time saver. So I think that's that's an area we should start talking about as well as templates. So All I'm right. excited so for that. So as you see, guys, so Jay's talking about future. Future stuff that we are actually going to talk more about. Yes, indeed, because Jay actually agreed to collaborate with Mommy Lala, Mommy Guide, Inc. until the end of the year. And then we will plan something after next year, right? There's always something so to talk about. There's a lot. Every two the months. mindset and productivity tools never end, right? Exactly. So, so guys, so yeah. now is June. All right. So, we will see Jay again last uh, part of July. All right. So, yep. hopefully, yep. if his you know schedule again permits... We will tell you in advance when that is going to be. So uh, for now, practice on Notion. All right, practice. Watch, rewatch the two other videos that we had with Jay. There are all actually links there also for you to use so that you can practice as we did. And again, thank you so much, Jay, again. I know um, there's so many me. things happening right now, but you actually still found time to be able to be with us tonight. Uh -huh. My pleasure. I love your community. This has been always a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to the end of July to, to meet with you guys again and have some fun stuff that we can uh, juice up our, our, our dashboards right. and, and our Actually, approaches. I think it'd be like August. Fun. Every two months, right? August. So August. Okay. Yes. All right. There you go. All right. You, you give me have... the date and I'll be there. So. All right. Exactly. But we would want you monthly. <laughs> then it's too much for you. Jason says, thank you, Jay. And also some uh, Simply Mate. Thanks, Jeff. Super helpful. All right. Aww. So again, thank you, Jay. And I hope you have a great day. I, I don't know if you're going to go back to sleep. <laughs> Because we nope. will be I got a full day, got a full day ahead of me, and this that's got me nice and invigorated. And I, I love this. I love teaching. And if anybody has, including you, Lala, if you guys have anything you want to see me try to do, any other questions, um, if you have any comments about how I can explain this even better, mm -hmm. I'm always open to that because I think we have to. This is complex sometimes, and I want to make sure people understand the tool, and we don't just run over people with it. So. Mm -hmm. I, Please find me in my, my drumupstudio at gmail.com. Um, please find me and, and, and write me any questions you have. And Lala, all right, so I hope you have a wonderful night. All details, month. guys, will be in the description below after this. All right. So again, if you want to know more about Jay, just head on to those links. And of course, if you love what you've seen so far. And, you know, yeah. um, Jay talked about what is in his um, YouTube channel right now and what is to come so um you can head on to his youtube channel jay smith and subscribe if you know if you want again thank you, you so want. much That's... jay and thank All you right, to everybody, everybody who uh was able to join us again this is a special stream yes. for tonight and i'll see you again jay in august bye yes bye everybody thank you so much bye uh, talk to you soon all right bye bye so so much for j joining jay smith and i tonight have a great rest of the night or day wherever you are bye problem Okay, hold on, Jay. I think... Uh...